Hey, what is up, guys? Enable Grim here, and today I have another After Effects, well, another After Effects tutorial uh, for you guys. So, you know, I just realized that seems to happen every time I do a tutorial. I go whoa because the mic gets too close to my face, and since I'm using Turtle Beaches, um, I can hear myself talking in the headphones, and it gets really loud. But yeah, it's like 1 a.m. in the morning, so. Not really tired, no one's home. I thought I'll do a tutorial for you guys because I can. So, today we have a tutorial on like trap code particular, it's kind of like cinematic particles. It's uh, it's a really cool effect. Um, I just got into using this effect and I really enjoyed it. So, let's just get that down. Um, it's one and then this is a plugin, I forget who it's from. Uh, oh, it might be from Video Copilot. Or not Video Copilot, sorry. Um, Red Giant, same people who make Magic Bullet looks. Uh, it's really a uh, cool effect. It's like dust, I guess you could say. Okay, so make a new solid layer. Um, black sign. Let's call this Particular. Let's make the comp size and OK. And we'll look up in our effects and presets particular. And you'll see trap code particular. Drag that onto your clip. And you'll see what we get here is just this this thing. And that, that does not look good at all. Like, ooh, that totally looks like cinematic dust particles, right? No, that doesn't at all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, once we get up here, I'll just drag this down a little bit. We're going to go to emitter, and then particles per second. That's way too much. We're going to turn it down to, like, 20. Not 220, 20. Sorry, my hair is getting in my face, and it's pissing me off. Push it off to the side. Um, and then emitter type, we want it on box. So then we can um, then we can move it off to the side. So then it looks like it's coming from the bottom. Like that, but like three thousand something like that. Four, three thousand four hundred around there. That's what I usually use. Um, okay, and then emitter size, which is somewhere around here. Oh wait. Sorry, that's um, in the other thing. I'm thinking of yeah, emitter size X. Yeah, emitter size X. Make it like pretty big. Uh, y zero, so then it's not like separate. We want it on like one line. So put that to zero. Emitter size X. Put it like around 1300. Uh, yeah, that's about good. 1300. Uh, right about there. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Um, Pre-run, wherever that is, I can't even find it. Uh, Pre-run, there we go. <laughs> Put it to 100, so then it looks like they're automatically born and they're not getting born. Like if you look at, if you put it to zero, then they start randomly. But if we put it to 100, then they're already there, and we can just put the opacity down to zero on the actual physical layer that they're on. So we got that, and now we're done with emitter. Now we'll go to particle, and life uh, per second, we want to put it to about 10. So we got a little more particles. And size, way too big, put it down to about 2. So then we have, it looks more like dust, as you can see, but... It's starting to look more like uh, like uh, it should. So we're done with particle now. Uh, physics. That's where the magic happens. Gravity. Gravity. You want to put it to like negative 10-ish? Yeah, that should be good. So then it's floating up, right? And then uh, click air. And then we're on a turbulence field. And under turbulence field effect position, I want to put it to like 500-ish. I usually put it at like 510. Uh, and then scale, put it to 2. That's good. 
and now we'll go a turbulence field and we'll go to world trance or no sorry rendering rendering uh, and then do, 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 rendering I'm trying to think I'm doing this all from memory guys uh, motion blur that's what it is um, motion blur on and then the shutter angle put it to like uh, 720 something like that so then it looks more like dust as you can see here it's looking pretty nice I like that um, yeah so now we're gonna go to world transform and Y offset we're gonna put that to like 500 and something yeah so as you can see looks like the particles are floating up kinda like dust some of them are a little bigger than others and uh, let's just ram preview this we'll go skip every like one and floating up pretty slowly looking pretty nice I like it I like it and to make it you look even cooler we're gonna add a new text layer particle tutorial and then we're gonna change the text to more Morpheus looks kinda daunting I like that make it bigger center it and what's re you don't want to do something that's really cool let's just put the opacity down to zero and then like f three seconds put it up and then right about here what you want to do it's a really cool transition I I'm gonna be starting to use it a lot you go simple simple choker under mat add it to the text and then keyframe the choke mat and then go a few seconds in and do it until the text disappears now if we watch that looks really cool that's kinda 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 short on the uh, effect now let's see what it looks like um that's basically it for the tutorial um the the particles and stuff you can you can also add to a um to a to a composition so uh, sorry like a clip so if i import a clip here it works better for cinematics. Let's get a zooming in one. Vacant's good. Importing selected items. And it's lagging. There we go. We'll just make a new composition. Sorry. Let's copy the particular layer. Control or Command C. Let's make a new composition. Cinematic part. And let's control or command V and with this and you can see that the particles are on the clip considering the fact that there's already particles in vacant doesn't contribute to the fact oh, it's gonna lag here doesn't contribute to the fact that uh, vacant already has particles but yeah that's really cool what we can do is we can boost the size up a little bit to like three yeah when it's on cinematics boost it to like three and then it should be good and you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more motion blur on this there that's nice yeah so just a quick tutorial on some cinematic particles I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, tutorial for you guys today I should be um, coming up with some more tutorials and stuff in the future uh, yeah so oh and uh, I'm also at almost 500 subscribers which is amazing guys I can't believe I've all I've gotten this far in 
well, almost a year, which isn't that great. But still, still, uh, I've been getting a lot more subscribers lately. It's been nice. I like it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial on some nice cinematic particles within After Effects. Uh, oh, this is, um, I am Grim, and I am out. Peace.